Now I figured out what to do in the last block of the show. I have been talking to all of you that have smokehouses, but there is a process you can use to do this on your own gas grill. Now, what I'm going to show you here is an old video that I put together in 2014 of how to do goose jerky on the gas grill. This will spell it out for you with a few addendums since that old video, which brought it forward to modern times as far as sawdust goes. Hope you enjoy it. Here we are, next day, 18 hours on the cure. Before we go cutting here, you need to have your sawdust. Now, the sawdust, I got a little pan here. You don't want to have a big pan underneath your grates. The main reason, the main reason you don't want to have a big pan underneath your grates is that the bigger the pan, the less the heat gets up into the center and cooks the center of your meat smaller the pan, the more evenly it cooks, if that makes any sense. I got something new. I'm gonna give it a try here, guys. It's called a grill kicker. You got yourself, it's like a little cake. Now these are hickory. These are hickory flavored cakes. You light it like it's a wick. You light this, you hold it till it's lit. You turn it around, set it in the pan, and set it on the grill. Now I'm ready to go ahead and put this guy on the grill. This one's pretty full. Now that we have our trays nice and full and nice evenly spaced, we're gonna go ahead. Oops, I gotta close this one grate on my grill. Yep, I'm gonna put the sawdust down in there. And my grill is big enough that I should be able to fit both of these trays. We're gonna go ahead and start her up. We're gonna get it to 200 degrees. You want your meat to end up with an internal temperature of right at around 160 degrees. Now, I've been doing it long enough to know it's really hard on something this thin to get a meat thermometer in it. But uh, you can usually tell. Temperature, 200 degrees. We are on low, totally, on both burners. You wanna hold your temperature as close to 200 degrees as you possibly can. Otherwise, what'll happen is it'll start to dry out on the thinner ends, and you'll end up burning up the ends before the center of it's done. Try to stay at 200 degrees or right around there. As you can see, you've got a good smoke going on here right now. Got a towel on the one side because I had a vent on both sides, and you want to go ahead and try to keep this thing to where you want to try to keep as much smoke in the grill as you possibly can. So I blocked off the windward side. Won't take long now. Now what you gotta do is you gotta watch for the fire. Because the hickory sawdust dried out enough that it could start to burn. We're gonna call it good for a little bit, okay? We'll come back and we'll enjoy eating it. Right in front. <laughs> we have jerky that is done. Tray's a little hot. Here you go, boys. We're done. Boy, howdy. Good stuff. Yes, sir. Tasty. You can see if you cook it too fast, what it'll do is it'll cook the juices out of it too fast dries it out. That's too fast. This is more like what you want. This is the consistency you're looking for right here. Okay, it's starting, it's nice and smooth. It's a little fast right there in the corner, but this is the consistency you're looking for. Oh boy, hot. Doesn't take very long. Doesn't take very long on the gas grill. Oh boy, Heidi. That's some good looking stuff. <laughs> what can I say? I like it. Your pup, you want one? Hmm? Another one? <laughs>